Welcome back, everyone. So if you shun the sun, suffer from food allergies, or don't get enough fruits and veggies, you might be vitamin deficient. In fact, 46% of U.S. adults do not get enough vitamin C. Now, according to the Cleveland Clinic, 4 in 10 people are vitamin D deficient, and 90% of us don't get enough vitamin E. Not getting enough of these vitamins can be dangerous, and in some cases, even life-threatening. Feeling weak, trouble sleeping, blurry vision, all of these symptoms could be a sign you're not getting enough of these. Vitamin C is critical for our immune system. It also plays a vital role in joint health, mood, and promotes eye health. One in 20 people lack the recommended daily amount, even though many experts believe it's easy to get enough vitamin C just through a healthy diet. One orange or cup of strawberries or raw broccoli gives you 100% of your vitamin C. I'm a medical doctor and I prescribe medicine, but I always like to take the natural approach whenever possible, and food is medicine. Vitamin D is critical for building and maintaining healthy bones, but about 1 billion people worldwide are deficient in it. A new study reveals a lack of vitamin D might be linked to an increased risk of dementia and stroke. The top vitamin D fortified foods include salmon, canned tuna, egg yolks, orange juice, and mushrooms. And how do you get your vitamin E? You can get your daily recommended amounts through foods like nuts, green vegetables like broccoli and spinach, and vegetable oils. Your body needs it to boost its immune system. Some research even suggests vitamin E might delay the progression of Alzheimer's disease, liver disease, and prostate cancer. Now keep in mind to enhance the absorption of these vitamin supplements, take them with meals that contain at least 10 grams of fat or more. And keep in mind, overdosing on food-based vitamins is pretty unlikely, but it is possible to take too many through supplements leading to negative side effects.